Hello, this is Chris Menard. I have a wonderful trick for you today in Microsoft Excel. I want to total up quickly the advertising source in column G. So for Facebook, I want to know what was the total purchases for 2018 because Facebook is in here multiple times. The same for Google Ads and the other advertising sources. So I'm going to total up 2018 and 2019 for each advertising source without using a pivot table, no subtotals, no sum if formulas. So here we go. I'm going to go to cell K1, Data tab, Data Tools Group, Consolidate. That's exactly what I want to do. By default, it wants to sum. I'm just showing you the other functions that are available. I clicked in the reference box. My reference includes the header row. So I'm going to go from G1. to I-36, so I did get the header row. I'm going to select Add. And then it's selected over here and it's asking, are there any labels? Yes. The header row is the top row. And then what I'm trying to sum up is over in column G, which is the left column. Click OK and watch what happens. There we go. This actually drives me crazy. It picked up 2018 and 2019 but it didn't get advertising source. So I'm going to copy and paste. And that is my header row. So let's make it bold, make it official. Okay, I'm actually done right now, but so now I'm going to test it. Let's do an equals sum if. What range are you trying to look in? That is G2 to G36, comma. What criteria am I looking for? I'm going to just do Facebook comma, and what is it I want to sum up? H2 to H36, I should get 570,000, and I do. That number equals that number. So that was data, consolidate, which is the data tools group. Great trick for Microsoft Excel. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful day.